songs for the stars above. Mary Leah was inducted in 2002 into the Alameda County Women's Hall of Fame and it is an abs has been an absolute pleasure to work with her in organizing and planning this event. Mary Leah Kelly, please come on up. Good morning. morning. Before I begin speaking about the work that goes on on the other side of this fence, I want to invite you to do an honoring with me at this momentous time. It's 8.15 a.m. and the world is about to be changed. I want to ask you to take a deep breath. Open your mind and heart and bring them into focus. If you are comfortable doing this, you can close your eyes if you like for this reflection and honoring. Imagine for a moment that you live in Hiroshima, Japan, 74 years ago today. It's August 6th at 8.15 in the morning. What are you doing in your mind's eye? Are you eating breakfast with a loved one? Or are you thinking of your kids whom you've just sent off to school? Or at 8.15, do you see yourself sitting at your desk in an office? Maybe you saw an American B-29 plane in the sky. Some people did. You didn't pay it any mind. No one thought much about it. There had been so many U.S. reconnaissance planes flying overhead in recent weeks. Now, the atomic bomb is falling. It's irrevocably, irrevocably on its way. Yet, for some seconds, your morning routine continues. Then you see the flash, orange-red, brighter than the sun. Then comes the sound, the boom, boom. The buildings begin to crumble. Now I want to invite you to take another deep breath, please. Come fully back into your body where you are today. Open your eyes if you have closed them. You are with colleagues and friends at the Livermore Nuclear Weapons Lab this morning. The power of your presence is helping to create a world of greater peace and justice so that no people anywhere will ever again endure a nuclear blast. This we owe to the survivors, the Habaksha, and to those who have died. This moment, when the first atomic bomb, crude by today's standards, was dropped in anger, in war, is a time to rededicate ourselves, individually and collectively, to the global abolition of nuclear weapons. I invite you to see that world in your mind's eye now. It is why we are here. So in 2019, we come to Livermore Lab at a time of some hope. For example, just days ago, on July 31st, we saw the 24th ratification by St. Vincent and the Grenadines of the UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. It will fully enter into force when 50 states' parties have ratified. But as you well know, we gather also at a time of grave and growing nuclear dangers. Four days ago, on August 2nd, President Trump terminated the Intermediate Nuclear Forces Treaty, which had banned an entire class of weapons. Just prior, in July, Trump again alluded to using nuclear weapons, if he felt like it, in Afghanistan. Quote, I have plans, he said plans, on Afghanistan, he said that if I wanted to win that war, Afghanistan would be wiped off the face of the earth. It would be literally over in 10 days. Well, he added that he doesn't really want to do this. It's clear that he believes launching nuclear weapons and launching them first is thinkable. You may also recall 
that in August of 2017, he threatened North Korea with nuclear weapons, which he then called fire and fury. So I begin today with a little foreign policy to say this, Livermore Lab enables the nuclear Armageddon that Trump so blithely considers. Indeed, that's exactly what's being designed here today. Further, the new warheads being developed at Livermore Lab play a major role in driving, actually driving, a new global arms race. So today I'm going to focus on just one of the two new warheads that Livermore is creating as we are here, and it is important that we are here today. It's called the W87-1. It used to be called the Interoperable Warhead 1. It's going to sit atop a land base ICBM, a new one the Pentagon is developing, in a silo. This warhead, weapons designers from this laboratory have told me, is so new, so different, that it may lead to resumption of explosive nuclear testing underground in Nevada in order to certify it. The United States has not tested underground in Nevada since 1992. It would break a global moratorium, and let me tell you, every other nuclear armed state would follow th immediately, and we would be back into the darkest, worst days of the Cold War that we were so fortunate to get out of without a nuclear exchange. We were not wise. You and I were there, some of you. It, we were lucky. Will we be lucky twice? This new warhead needs a new plutonium pit. The National Nuclear Security Administration documents say it will be like, like a fully tested pit, but it will not be that design. It will not be that pit. It will be new. That is a driver for a new plan by the government to expand plutonium pit production in the United States. Right now, up to 20 plutonium, up to 20 plutonium bomb cores are authorized. We've never done that many. If you don't have new nuclear weapons that need them, you don't need that many. They want to change this to 80 or more warheads a year at two or more at two locations, Savannah River site in South Carolina and Los Alamos Lab in New Mexico, in order to serve the warhead being designed right here. We have, along with colleague groups, forced a review under the National Environmental Policy Act, but NNSA is trying to do a shoddy job. You'll be shocked to know that. Tri-Valley Cares has here today, and we have people circulating with clipboards or come to our table, we have a comment on this, which is due by August 12th, that you can sign. And please know that the number of comments the government gets on this plan to expand plutonium bomb core um, production matters. It matters in them making the decision, and it really matters if we have to litigate the decision they make. So thank you for that, and thank you for being here from the bottom of my heart. It matters. Thank you so much, Mary Leah. If we could give her another round of applause. Thank you, Mary Leah. I'm gonna let down my soul shield. Inside of a little boy, yeah. Inside of a little boy, yeah. Inside of a little boy, I'm gonna let down my sword and shield. Inside of a little boy, I'm gonna stay with you.